Hello my creative critters and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. Today I'm going to show you a little adventure that I took myself on to the Cantigny Park. I went there for the first time at the only day of the year that they allow dogs at the park. So I took my dog there this year and I went the past year that they had the event as well. And I just fell in love with all of the gorgeous flowers that were everywhere and how well kept everything was. And I knew once I had the experience bringing my dog there, I wanted to explore it on my own and take my sketchbook and draw some of those beautiful flowers and the gorgeous scenery that is in that park. Stick around to the end of this video where I will show you some fun that my dog had at that park. There was specifically a like track that this thing would like go around and she was chasing that for a good like five minutes straight. So that was really fun to watch. Stick around to the end of the video for some footage of that. But I recently went back to the Cantigny Park the other day and I wanna show you some of the sketches that I created while I was there. So it was actually raining all day there and when it finally cleared up, that's when I went there. So all of the gardens weren't like perfect because it had just like downpoured in that town but i was able to pick some of my favorites from the bunches and start drawing those and i don't know what literally any of these flowers are called they have like little posts of what they are but to be honest i just wanted to draw them so if you happen to know what these flowers are called feel free to leave those in the comments i'd love to know pretty sure like there's mums and stuff but Anyway, let's just get started. So I have this flower and this flower here. This was like from the first bunch of flowers that I saw there. And I like to do this thing where when I go there, I kind of just roughly sketch out the shapes. And then when I come home, I'll like, you know, do some better line art and just kind of suggest the, or I guess enhance the sketches that I made there. So you can kind of tell here, like you can see the really sketchy lines that I did while I was there. And then I came home and I kind of just made it easier to see in my sketchbook, especially on camera too. You can see it a little bit better. And I love varying the line weight and everything. I think it's just really fun to just take your time and enhance those sketches that you drew first seeing the item or in this case a flower so I really enjoyed focusing on this flower here and then this one had some really fun like little yellow flowers in like the center of it too that I didn't capture really but I was working with watercolor pencil on all of these and I only had like a select few colors that I brought with me because I didn't want to bring like too much stuff so that's another flower and then over here this is another flower that I did. I think this was a mum. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but I will be showing a compilation of all the videos that I took while I was at the Cantigny Park. So you'll be able to see all of the flowers in real life. So stick around for that. I like this one because it was very like pom pom -y and all the petals kind of shot out from the center. I thought it was really pretty. And I tend to gravitate towards the flowers that I think are the prettiest or that are my favorite colors. So I really liked the magenta, maroon, pinky kind of flowers. And I like focusing on some of the leaves too because some of them had like really interesting shapes to them. I will say that it was super humid after the rain there so it was very sticky and hot so I didn't spend too much time in one area versus another. So I kind of just kept moving around doing a little sketch here and there and moving on. And then my favorite part of the whole Cantigny Park, let me zoom out a little. They have this garden called, I think it's called the Idea Garden, but they had this gorgeous little lily pond with some running water and rocks everywhere. And they have like little koi fish inside of it as well in the pond part. And I love looking at the lily pads and the little lilies that were sprouting off of the pond that were kind of sticking out on the water. And when I do eventually go back there, I think I'm just going to sit there and really do like a proper painting or something just because I could sit on the rocks and really beautiful flowers. And I'm just a sucker for lily pads and lilies. And I think it'd be really fun to study like the actual like shading in the water and how like the light bounces off and the reflections and everything. I think that would be really fun to study. So I definitely will be going back there mostly just focusing on that pond and it was really fun to see all the fish kind of swimming around as well which you will see shortly but this is all that i was able to sketch on that trip to the cantigny park i hope you enjoyed this little mini sketchbook spread tour type situation here I really enjoy just taking my time strolling the park and just drawing whatever I felt like drawing. It wasn't super crowded because like I said, it rained basically the whole rest of the day. So I really caught that park at a slow time. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the sketches that I created today. Stay tuned for more of that kind of sketchbook tours where I show you what I draw at a specific place because I just love taking myself on little dates, exploring some new areas or like a zoo or just downtown Chicago or anything that I just go on by myself. And I love sharing those little moments, if anything, just as a little time capsule on my channel for myself. But I think it's fun to see the things that I decide to draw on those trips as just a little reminder. So without further ado, here's a compilation of the different videos that I took of the gorgeous flowers and scenery and little birdhouse towers and just the overall layout of the park. I hope you enjoy it. There's little Easter eggs such as I was trying to take videos of some monarch butterflies that were fluttering by, so you'll see those as well. And then at the very end, I'll share a quick video of my dog enjoying the dog day at the park about a month ago or so. That's probably going to be my favorite part. I could watch that video over and over again. I love it so much. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in next Friday's video.
Thank you